minimally invasive surgery is really about tiny incisions. And those tiny incisions, usually uh, less than a quarter of an inch, um, give us access to the abdomen that would be similar to a six or eight inch incision that would be required in a traditional open operation. It's easy to imagine that those little incisions are going to provide benefits such as less pain and uh, better cosmetic outcomes, but it really goes far beyond that. And that's what I'm interested in as a surgeon is the outcomes. Patients uh, seem to have a return to their bowel function much quicker, and what that means is that they're eating regular diet quicker, they are um, having um, less activity restrictions, which means they are up and around, they have less chances of getting clots or pneumonia. They, um, because they're up and around, they return to work faster, they uh, return to exercise quicker. There's a whole host of benefits that come from the minimally invasive approach that are explained much more than just the tiny incisions. You have to consider it in comparison to an open operation where if you have an eight inch incision on the abdomen and there's exposure of the intestines to the open environment, there's a whole cas cascade of events that occurs. It's uh, fluctuation of hormones, there's fluid shifts, there's stress on the heart and lungs that simply is not as profound when a person is undergoing a minimally invasive operation. I, I love doing laparoscopic surgery because in properly selected patients, our outcomes are just fantastic. And uh, I choose to do these operations exclusively in the Shawnee Mission System here at the Shawnee Mission Hospital, Prairie Star Surgery Center, and the Shawnee Mission Surgery Center because of the team I have here. I'm Carla Gerani. I'm a general surgeon at Shawnee Mission Medical Center.